Hi, my name is Ed Donovan. I'm here at DC Glassworks. You can find us at dcglassworks.com. We are a public access glass blowing facility. We also do metal and metal casting and welding. We are primarily a teaching facility. We want to share with people the magic of glass blowing. It's an amazing substance. And today, I'm going to be talking to you about glass blowing. Uh, using the jacks in glass blowing is uh, a difficult skill to learn. Uh, remember, glass is a liquid, and it's very, very hot, and it should be pretty fluid when you're using, uh, when you're working it. Uh, so the jacks, the primary purpose is cutting in what we call the jack line, which is essentially the constriction at the end of the pipe or the top of the bubble that you're going to use to separate the vessel from the blowpipe onto the punty. Uh, it's also used for shaping the side walls. Uh, the handling of the jacks is your uh, open palm with your fingers wrapped around one handle and your, your thumb on the other and you're very, very gently squeezing into the glass as you're rotating the pipe. And the rotation of the pipe is critical. You never want to stop rotating the pipe. If you do stop rotating the pipe or when you come to the end of the bench and you need to reverse your rotations, you want to let up on the pressure of your jacks just a little bit so that you don't create any kind of a flat line. Remember, we're working rounds and our jacks are flat. They're just two blades, straight edges. Uh, so your rotation is very important and keeping a round uh, surface out of your glass by the rotations. Uh, so the other use of the jack is as a cooling device, very similar to the Marver table. The back of the jack is a flat metal, uh, so you can use that to shape the bottom or cool the glass in a location that you need to. Uh, remember, steel takes heat out of glass very quickly. Uh, then we also have what's called a pachofi, which are also jacks, but they're a wood uh, blade as opposed to a metal blade. And uh, they're used uh, primarily in shaping bowls because they don't take so much heat out of the glass. And they're a little bit gentler. They have a, a more dulled or blunted end uh, so that they're not digging into the glass in, a, in making bowls. You're trying to make a very nice, even, gradual shape on the sides of the bowls and it would be very difficult to do that with a very uh, straight and pointed metal tip. So we use a wooden tip instead for uh, bowl formation.